Hey, Mark here. <clears throat> I'm just going to go over some AI prompting um, that's taking place in a Power Automate uh, behind the scenes for specifically for time and cost savings um, and comparing um, AI doing um, the task, performing the task versus um, a human coming in and analyzing these manually. Um, here's a document library, just a contracts document library. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drop um, these five new ones in here. And should just pop them in there. So while those are processing, um, what I have happening is basically a AI model is doing some document processing, which is extracting some key pieces of information that I'm looking for out of the documents, such as like vendor name, vendor address, um, things like that. Um, and then it's going ahead and going through some AI processing <clears throat> specifically for um, does this contract meet um, the requirements? I have some baseline requirements um, put in. Um, are there any red flags um, for things such as like auto renewal, um, things like that? And then um, does it meet IT security compliance? Um, and then I have another one that's basically taking like a sum of all three of these and basically coming up with a cost and time savings of all of these three tasks into one. Um, so we can go ahead and go into the properties of one of these that's already in here. And I just have a custom power app for this so I can expand these fields. So for this one, you can see total cost savings, $43, 33 cents. Um, and the time savings. And then it goes over each task um, individually. So <clears throat> the meets requirements um, task, the analyzing for red flags, and then the IT security compliance. Um, so altogether about $45. And then it goes, or, uh, it goes over each um, individual um, AI prompt as well as gives a summary so you can see if it's met requirements or not. And then it gives a general, um, if the contract was clear, if it met all these requirements or if it needs uh, more review. Um, this one needs more review. <clears throat> so while these are still running, usually it just takes about a minute or so. Oh, looks like they've already run. So it looks like two of them cleared um, this Omni and next phase contract. So it met all these AI prompts and cleared successfully. The rest of these are going to need some uh, manual um, analysis to go in here and see what it didn't meet. You can also set up some additional um, automation for each particular step if you want, but this was just a general um, time and cost savings demo. Um, so if we come into here and look at these other ones, Let's see what this one has. Um, again, about the same, $43. So that one's probably about the same contract um, depth wise. Let's go to the properties, this one. This one, and again, about 40. Um, so I processed five <clears throat> contracts in about a minute to two minutes, um, extracting all of the information from them as well as analyzing um, these AI prompts against it. And then you can also create a copilot against it. Um, I haven't deployed this yet, but um, you can deploy this to Teams or attach it to a Power App. Um, so I just have basically what is the reason for Everspan, one of the contracts that was tagged as um, needs review. You know, like why is it being tagged that way? And it'll basically just tell you um, the reasoning behind why it was tagged as need to review. And then I have it coming in here and basically saying, okay, um, can you draft me an email um, back to the vendor, basically giving them steps on how to remediate um, the issues within this contract to send back to us. So altogether a pretty good um, time savings, time and cost uh, savings for a contract solution.